All right, Brittany, thank you. Now to the latest on that historic indictment. Former President Trump set to make his first public appearances since that indictment took place. Speaking today to a Republican crowd in Georgia and here in the Tar Heel State at the state GOP convention. Federal prosecutors are accusing Mr. Trump of misleading investigators in order to hold on to classified documents and in two instances allegedly showing the documents to people without security clearances. NBC's Alice Barr is in Washington and breaks down those allegations. Uncharted territory today for former President Donald Trump, the United States legal system, and the American public watching the first felony indictment against a former U.S. president unfold. The now unsealed indictment includes 37 felony counts tied to allegations that Mr. Trump mishandled classified documents improperly stored at his Mar-a-Lago estate and resisted the government's efforts to get them back. We have one set of laws in this country and they apply to everyone. Mr. Trump on the attack, accusing the Department of Justice of orchestrating a political witch hunt on his truth social platform. I'm an innocent man. I did nothing wrong. And we'll fight this out just like we've been fighting for seven years. The charges include a violation of the Espionage Act related to the willful retention of national defense information, as well as conspiracy to obstruct and making false statements. The indictment alleges that on two occasions in 2021, Mr. Trump shared classified material with people without security clearances, including one document described as a plan of attack and another classified map related to a military operation. A Trump aide, Walt Nada, is also under indictment. He's come under scrutiny for allegations he moved boxes of documents at Mar-a-Lago after a subpoena was issued to get them back. Former President Trump is expected to surrender to a federal courthouse in Miami on Tuesday. Well, thousands of people are already in the Tar Heel State to hear from the former president and other Republican frontrunners as the North Carolina GOP convention enters day two in Greensboro. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis took the stage last night addressing supporters and seemingly coming to Mr. Trump's defense by joining those calling the allegations politically motivated prosecution. Our founding fathers would have absolutely predicted the weaponization that we've seen with these agencies, particularly justice and FBI, because when you don't have constitutional accountability, human nature is such that they will abuse their power. Well, former Vice President Mike Pence also expected to speak at that event. Polls list all three as the top GOP candidates right now. The convention runs through Sunday and is not open to the public.